Guess what I've got in the mail? As I'm recording this video, it is May the 24th, a day before my birthday. So, I got a birthday present, and that is a Five Nights at Freddy's McFarlane construction set. And, I mean, I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's, I just realized this, I'm literally wearing a Five Nights at Freddy's shirt. That's kind of convenient. I don't think I reviewed anything like Lego based or McFarlane based, I guess. And I've been following the, this series for a long time, the McFarlane and the Finance of Freddy series. And so to finally have one of these sets, especially a very decently sized one, is really nice. Um, fair, please excuse the audio in the background. It's, uh, it's, it's very noisy. There's not a whole lot of room to do this. So this shows Freddy Fazbear. Uh, it says Five Nights at Freddy's. And it shows um, the set right here. This one's actually the backstage, right? That's what it's saying? No, parts and service. Well, it's basically the same thing. It's the backstage of FNAF 2. And so that's really cool. 209... 209 pieces. For ages 12 and up. So you can actually see right there is the... Uh, Freddy, Shadow Freddy, and he looks really cool. Uh, on the back, it shows s s all the other sets from Wave 3, uh, which, in my opinion, is, I think is actually one of my favorite waves, just because it has a lot of the cool FNAF 2. I like FNAF 2 a lot, with all of its, with all those construction sets and stuff. So, yeah, I think that's it. Let's get into it. So, so... In here we got, uh, yeah, so we have two bags of Legos, and, oh my gosh, camera stay! We have, uh, the instruction manual, which teaches you how to construct everything. So, yeah. Oh, we also, of course, gotta get the Shadow Freddy figure. Come on. I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even get it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is Shadow Freddy. Honestly, <laughs> he's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Because uh, usually in the videos, they look much bigger. I just... The hands are so small. So... Yeah, I think this guy looks really well detailed. I'm really impressed with how they look. I'm pretty sure you can actually pull up the face, right? Oh, yeah, you can reveal the, the end of Oh, you can move the jaw. That is weird. Oh, well. So you got shot right there. So you can kind of have him move his jaw around. You can move his head, too. Uh, you can also move his leg. Oh, I just ripped his foot off. Okay. So yeah, you can move that. The legs stay on. Uh, you can... Oh, you can move the waist? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, you can move the arms, bend the wrists. He has a microphone on his head, which is pretty cool. And overall, I really like the detail on this figure. It looks really well done. Uh, especially on the face. Very good. Um... Yeah, alright, so let's, let's Shadow Freddy, I guess. Let's get on to building this set.
finished the build. And right off the bat, I actually just want to point out some um, odd things when building. Mostly they were kind of just minor inconvenience inconveniences. But I noticed that some of the um, uh, some of the stuff was a bit tricky to build. Some of the pieces were kind of odd, and they were kind of hard to put together. Uh, I'll actually display one of the things off, on screen. Uh, it was this these pegs that were, I was trying to put in, and they just wouldn't go in. I had a hard time. I had to really squeeze them in. Also, actually, uh, in the... What's kind of funny is that... Um, as you can clearly see from the instructions uh, and from the set, there's actually the heads that are in this changed. So, and here, as you can clearly see, actually, let's start off with the box. So, in the box, it's just uh, Bo she Bonnie and Chica's head, right? But then on the front of the instructions, you can also see a Freddy and Foxy head. And then when we flip it over to the instructions here, it's just Chica and Freddy. So the heads that are in this set are very inconsistent. Uh, in the final uh, build, it is exactly how it shows in the, uh, in the front of the box. It is Bonnie and Chica's head. Uh, so let's actually get to the figures. So I've already showed off Shadow Phrase. Let's show off Withered Foxy. Um, this looks great. Uh, again, I love how much detail McFarlane puts into their Lego sets. And even back then, a long time ago, they still did a really good job. Like, this was about, I think this was made a few years ago? I don't know. It just looks really good. A lot of good detailing, and especially the head. Of course, you could, oh, whoop, did not mean to take that all off. You can take off the uh, head and reveal the endo. And uh, I noticed that if you could actually kind of notice the jaw and the head are kind of crooked to kind of give it that uh, that look, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, the rotation is about the same as uh, with uh, Shadow Freddy. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, as for the rest of the set, it also looks great. There's actually a peg here you can put them on. Hold on, let me try it. In the back there. Uh, as for the set, it looks really good. Um, doesn't remind me of the of the parts and service. Uh, this is more or less like the part that you don't see, because I can clearly see. So this is obviously the door right here. Like if you turn around, this is the parts and service door. If you open up to go inside, and then. The camera would be right about here, and this is where the other wheel and trunks would be. And then there's a, a doorway right here that leads to... Wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, the camera would be here, right? Yeah, it'd be like this, wouldn't it? Yeah, the, so the camera would be like this, and you can see a doorway right here. And occasionally, we would fox watch would show up right here. Uh, but you don't, we don't, you don't see what's over here, though. So it's kind of cool to see how they imagined this. They, instead of going with what you see in the games, they went for what you don't see, which I think is what makes this a little more unique in my opinion. Uh, uh, you can also, there's this cool thing here, you can open up this door and reveals all the endo, yeah, there we go, there's the endo there, which, oh my, which, let's just point out the endo looks really creepy. If you imagine this just kind of chilling there, that would be, that would be creepy. Actually, speaking of Endo, it says in the set that it only comes with two figures, but actually, if you count the pieces here, you can actually make a secret, well, it's not really a secret, but you can make a bonus third character with all the Endo parts. So if you take, if you take the Endo's torso and you get all of his limbs, just give me a second, yeah, you can actually form a uh, third bonus character. And the endo looks really good again. This even has more detail than the actual than the other characters. Just look. Look at how amazing this looks. I don't really have a whole lot else to say. Um, actually, uh, you can actually take the heads and you can also you can actually put them on. So it looks hold on. It looks kinda weird because the endo already has a jaw. But you can kinda 
make them wear heads. You can actually kind of mix and match with these guys because you know they're made out. They're made out the same, very similar stuff, very similar Lego stuff. And you can kind of mix and match with the heads. So this Endo can have like Foxy's uh, mask, and Foxy can be Chica. So that's pretty cool. But I think that's 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 pretty much it for. Uh, this review, that was the backstage. Oh no, sorry. I keep getting them confused. This is the parts and service. Um, I think I would give this set an eight out of 10. Yeah, I think I'll give it an eight out of 10. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As much as I have, if you did, be sure to like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, this is a random video that I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.